those hands unto the Lord and begin to worship him. Because he is Jehovah Jireh. Because he is Jehovah Nissi. Because he is the resurrection and the life. Because he is the only soon coming king. Because he is the giver of life. Because he is the person that has brought us this far. Can we lift our hands and worship and say, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. We will bring unto you more than a song. Lord, we are your worship. Lord, we worship you with everything that we have. We cannot forget your benefits. Lord, you have blessed us, have loaded us with so many blessings. We can't count them all. We worship you because you are the I am that I am. You are the ever living God. You are the fountain of life. He that knows the end from the beginning. He that inhabits the praises of his people. We thank you for it that all you have been with us. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Accept our praises, accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want us to open your Bible with me to the book of John chapter 4, verse 20 and 23. It is a story that we are familiar with, verse 22, sorry, to 23, because of time. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews, 23. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. You see, the Lord has been releasing this fresh oil on us. And the Lord is saying that now is the time. He is not asking for those that are coming to church. He is not seeking for those that are Christian in the church and there are something else out there. He's looking for those that will serve him with integrity of their hearts. Those that will serve him with sincerity of their hearts. I want you to pray with me this morning and ask that the Lord will grant you grace to serve him in truth and in spirit. That the Lord will grant you grace that you will serve the Lord with integrity of your hearts. That everyone will know that you indeed you are a child of God. Please can you raise that prayer unto the Lord. Say, Lord, we are asking Jesus this morning that you release unto us the unction that we will serve you with integrity, with the sincerity of our hearts. Lord, we don't want to pretend again. Lord, we want to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice unto you. That everything about us, Lord, will reflect the beauty of Jesus. Lord, what we are desiring this morning is that, Lord, you will transform us into two. That everything, Lord, we do, we show that we are children of God indeed. Lord, we are tired of being bench warmers. We are tired of being, Lord, class without rain. We are tired of being people that answer church workers. But, Lord, we lack the power of the Most High. And so, Lord, we are asking that you will visit us again this morning. Lord, grant us, Lord, that grace, that strength, that, Lord, we will serve you in sincerity. In serve you, Lord, not pretending, not being men pleasers. But, Lord, we will serve you and it will be known to all, it will be evident to all that indeed we are children of the Most High God. Father, this is our prayer this morning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. But I also want us to pray again. You know, we've been praying concerning the program that we'll have in the coming weeks and months. But I want us to pray specifically concerning the outreach that we'll be holding in most job. You know, the evangelist unit have been praying about it, but I want us to pray as a church. I want us to say, Lord, because the scripture says that when we lift you up, you will draw men unto yourself. And Jesus said that no one will come to me except the Father draws him. Can we pray and say, Lord, we lift up the city of Mojo unto you this morning. Lord, that you will draw souls of men unto yourself. Father, we are asking for Mojo. Lord, the streets of Mojo, the people in Mojo, they will hearken to your word. As we did it unto Lord Nineveh, you will do unto Mojo. Father, brethren will not just move here and go there in vain. 
we are asking that heaven shall be opened unto us. For the scripture says that the weapon of our welfare is not carnal but mighty through God. In pulling down of strongholds of the enemy and casting down imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And so, Lord, we take over that city, whatever imagination, whatever ancient door that want to rise up in the name of Jesus, we pull them down that the King of glory will come in in the name of Jesus. Finally, brethren, I want you to declare upon your life, even as we step into next month, that the oil you have received will work for you in all areas of your life. The Bible says, because of the anointing, the yoke shall be broken. Can we pray this morning that every yoke that have hindered you this month, as you step into next month, it shall be broken. Every body will be lifted from your shoulder. Whatever that yoke is, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken. Lord, by the reason of the anointing, we ask, Lord, that burdens be lifted from our shoulders. And, Lord, there will be a resounding testimony of what you have done with us in, in this month and what you are going to do with us in the coming months. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done and all you are doing and all you are yet to do with us. Blessed be your holy name. For we pray in the name of Jesus.